Hi guys, I'm Darren Arbor, Head Professional at Halifax Preston Golf Club. And this is the second part in our four part series of how to deal with sloping lies. Today we're going to encounter ball on a down slope. So we've just driven down the fairway and we found ourselves on a downhill lie. For many people this is a particularly difficult lie because your weight is all focused on the left side and you're going to, you, end, you find you end up walking down the slope after it. So there's a couple of setup things that we need to do to combat the slope. I would always advocate having the golf ball slightly further back in the stance. The reason for this is because you've got the slope behind the golf ball and you don't want to, you want to miss that on the, on the, on the downswing. So, but the main thing that we want to make sure that we do is, is we get that spine angle perpendicular or 90 degrees to the slope. And so therefore what we'll find is we'll find a little bit more weight on that left leg and this right leg becomes a little bit lighter. And this does encourage you to swing down the slope and, and you, will, you might walk after it at times. The other thing, as with all slopes, we need to maintain good balance. So I would suggest swinging within yourself but the other thing on a down slope is what you'll find is that the, 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 you're moving forward, so the loft of the golf club decreases. So if you want to get, if it's a six iron distance, I would suggest going to a seven because you're gonna, you want the more, slightly more loft because you're changing the golf club's angle at impact. So the other things to take into consideration when we talk about the slopes is the flight of the golf ball. As with all the golf slopes, ball above, ball below, uphill and downhill. The flight of the golf ball is affected by the dynamics of the, of the slope as well as the setup. Downhill lie is no different. What we tend to find with this one is we get the golf ball from traveling from left to right because we swing it slightly steeper into the golf ball. The golf face is slightly open at impact. So what we have to do is to counteract that, we have to aim a little bit left to counteract this flight of the golf ball. As well, the flight of the golf ball will be a lot lower. So what to take into consideration as well is when that golf ball hits the ground, you won't get the control that you would like. It will run. So if you look, hit it onto the green, you have to take into consideration the run out that's gonna be on the golf ball. Don't think it's, it's 150 yards and take your 150 yard club, you've got to Main to make sure that you, you land it short because you are going to get run out on this shot because you're not going to generate the spin because we're hitting the golf ball a little bit lower. So just to recap, pick a target out to the left of the left of the hole, aim your club with it, get your knee, knees, your feet, your hips and your shoulders parallel to that target line and put the golf ball in the back of your stance. Then we need to maintain this lean forward posture, so make sure that you, you get your spine angle parallel, perpendicular with the slope. So you've got a little bit more weight on this left leg. With all on slopes, make sure you maintain good balance throughout the swing to make a good contact. So the ball's come out a little bit lower than my normal flight. It's got a left to right flight on it. It's quite a, a little bit of a severe slope is this one. And you know, you could see that the end of the, the swing I was just holding on. But if you do go down that slope that little bit, it's not too bad. But the main thing is to maintain posture. So don't force it throughout the swing. So that's a downhill slope. It's the second video in the series of four that I've got for you, which are covering sloping lies on the golf course. In the last video, I did cover the ball below your feet. If you have yet to see it, it is linked just above there. If you have enjoyed today's content, please give us a like. Thank you very much for watching, and I look forward to welcoming you on my next video.